Special treat today, I get to introduce you to the nicest, coolest guy, Jensen, who is the lead product designer and co-founder of Naya Evo, which makes the best outdoor photography backpacks I have yet to encounter. Well, hey everyone, it's Hudson. Welcome to this week's video. You know, I think one of my favorite things in the world is finding new gear that's just superior to any other version of it I've used in the past. But the thing I even like more than that is meeting really great people who are similarly, who are similarly obsessed with quality. And with Naya Evo, I found both of those things. These two guys, Mario and Jensen, started this company. They have years and years of experience building outdoor packs and working in the photo community and building photo packs. And they blended all that into these just really stunning, amazing, well-designed, comfortable outdoor backpacks that tick every box I would want in a pack. So, you know, even better than the packs themselves are what awesome guys they are. And today, I just feel really fortunate to be able to bring you a conversation with Jensen about you know how the company started, where they've come from, what they're what they're doing, why they're doing what they're doing, where they're headed, the sustainability angle of what they're doing. I couldn't be more proud to be offering these these backpacks direct through my store. Um, you know I have a curated little collection of things that I love to use that I have up in the store, custom built tripods and the pieces you need to build your own custom built tripods. Um, filters and now these backpacks and the removable camera inserts that go in them uh, are joining that. So you can always jump over, hit my store, check that stuff out. Uh, links are in this video's full description as well. Of course, all those links help me out and I really appreciate them. Uh, but what I appreciate even more is doing business with somebody that's on the same, you know, same, same plane, both from a Let's design the absolute best thing we can, quality, usability, ergonomics, sustainability, uh, and also just a fun guy who I, I connect with and, and trust. Uh, so I hope you, oh, really quick, before we jump into that, one thing that we didn't have in this discussion was, that people have been asking me about is the name, Naya Eva, what does it mean? Uh, after we had our discussion, I asked Jensen about that, and he said that Naya is the Swedish word for new, and Evo is off the English word evolution. So new evolution is what Naya Evo stands for. It's sort of Swedish, uh, which is a term that kind of cracks me up. So there you go. With that said, oh, one other quick note. We have an office hours, May 2nd. Uh, Rick and I will just be back from Cuba. We'll run a workshop with David Archer in Charleston, South Carolina. We'll take your questions. It's a big free photography get together on Zoom and YouTube Live, 10 a.m. Pacific, May 2nd. Sign up at hudsonhenry.com slash office hours. Again, like the backpack, there's a link uh, in this video's full description. Click on the title or show more. You can go there, sign up, leave us a question. We'll do Q&A. We'll tell some stories and so show some photos from the road. All right, let's jump in and talk to Jensen. Well, okay. So everybody, this is this is Jensen. Jensen is the designer, Hi. Co co-owner, creator, originator of the Naya Evo bags, which I think are just the best ones out there. Uh, and I thought we'd just, yeah. we'd just chat a little bit. You, Jensen, you're in, you're in Spain right now? No, no, I'm back in Sweden. Oh, you're but, back. Uh, yeah, I, I arrived, I arrived from, uh, from Spain for uh, a short trade show and uh, now back in Sweden. So, uh, yeah, uh, nice to, to, to meet everyone. So my name is Jensen Pavels. Um, and, uh, yeah, I am uh, indeed um, the designer of the Niaivo camera backpacks. And you, you've worked for, a bunch of different backpack companies coming or companies that do outdoor packs and things like F stop and correct. Deuter. Correct. Yeah. I've, I've, I've worked, um, whole many years, I, I guess now it's, uh, about 15 years in this, uh, soft goods industry with a focus on, on technical hiking backpacks, um, and, and travel backpacks in general, and obviously also camera backpacks. So, um, yeah, I've worked with many brands. I worked on bags for, for F stop for low pro, um, I've worked on a lot of bags for PackSafe, where I was head of design for um, a good five and a half years. 
Um, and now I'm working uh, on, on Yaivo and, and several other brands uh, that I'm, as a design consultant, uh, involved with. So, yeah, I, I love it. It's great. And I just, I mean, I love the fact that you guys, you and Mario are aiming towards the sustainability factor with going with the less right. environmentally damaging durable waterproof uh, resistant coat, durable water resistant coatings, the DWR coatings on the bags and using the, the reclaimed fishing net, the Econil fabrics um, and That's incorporating That's that correct. into a design that I just, I mean, for me, it's got such a great harness system, really nice, easy access to all your gear. This, I don't know, just all the little touches that you have on this bag kind of blew my mind when, when I first got my 60C. You know, the, 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 the mm -hmm. roll top dry bag that's completely separate from the rest of the bag, whether you want to keep stuff right. getting wet in the, you know, you can fill that out with your puffy gear or whatever you need. Or if you've got wet gear that you don't want to get inside with your camera bag, it's like, that's just a brilliant yep. touch that you put on the 60C. And I, I like the way, the way that you, you designed the bags to cam open. You know, you got to pop the uh, the quick releases on the, the side mm -hmm. cinches, but the fact that that whole thing yep. cams out to just easily get exactly into your gear and that sort of, moving divider that zips and velcros in to keep anything in the top part of the compartment from getting it all you know yeah entangled with the lower in, in the camera yeah and that just yeah. lifts up as you put a bigger removable camera insert in or drops down as you have a smaller all the way down to the little one it's i don't know really yes. really yes. really nicely designed and easy to get inside and comfortable. I like your suspension, you know, the, the harness adjustment points are beefy and you've got backups. Mm -hmm. If one of those failed, there's dual webbing straps sewn in extremely well yeah, here. So that, you know, yeah, just all of it. And, and the, you know, for people who don't want a lot of straps, the, the side compression straps are removable. You're, your uh, mm -hmm. waist harness strap is removable, although for anybody carrying heavy yeah. camera gear around in a bag like this, I can't imagine removing it because you put the load on the hips, which is rare. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, F stopping you, I feel like, are the only two bag brands that make the torso fit that yeah. it actually gets, adjustable. Yeah, gets mm -hmm. the weight onto your hips. So I just, you know, I, I keep telling people these bags are just better <laughs> than any other bags that I've used, but then. Also that you and Mario are like the nicest people. So it's it's kind of fun to just get to chat with you for a second. <laughs> hey, I have to show you one yeah, more thing. One more thing I uh -huh, need to okay. That your big uh -huh. your bigger new ICU. Yes. I said uh, removable camera insert, RCI, sorry. I, you know, I did F stop yeah, for a long matter. time. So oh, ICU. Look at that. The eight hundred fits in there. Exactly. The that new looks Nikon really nice. It's pretty sweet. Wow. I mean you have yeah, to that, put that looks like a nice setup. Yeah, so I can just literally right. pop four little pieces of Velcro and pull out the medium insert and slip this guy into exactly. the bag. And, you know, it fits the, right now in this, the medium camera insert, I have my my, my Z9, right? My mm -hmm. uh, set of 112 millimeter filters in the hood that those mount in. My 100 to 400, my 14 to 24, and my 24 to 120. All right. in yeah. the medium insert. Really. With this one, I can fit all that stuff Amazing. plus the 800. Which is just yeah. nuts. <laughs> so, super, super cool. Yeah, the back can do a lot. It's uh, yeah, and 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 you you nailed it, um, Hudson. With with of course the sustainability angle, I would say is our latest uh, big push. Uh, was a, a massive effort for us to completely overhaul all our bags and all our colors, all our SKU um, using the the Econil regenerated uh, nylon fabric. So yeah, it's it was a really big effort, but we think it's the right thing to do, and we need to keep pushing um, to do even better because yeah. obviously it's a big step, it's a first step, but there is more work to be done. I mean, so um, yeah, we come. It's awesome because in a lot of the same way that I love, you know, getting gear from Patagonia because I feel like the company is really mm -hmm. working hard yes. to do the right thing for the environment. 
Right. Now Evo now matches that too. I mean, well, you know, you're, you're working towards Patagonia's efforts to do. I, I just love it. So the recycled yeah. fabric that is, and it's so nice. Like it, yeah. Yes. Great finish. It feels yes. so good. The other thing that's crazy from you guys is the colors are just beautiful. You know, I love your mm. green and your white, the mm -hmm. blue, the red. They're just they're they're beautiful. So people are always commenting, yeah. you know, and it's funny. I, I've, I've done these videos and people see and they're like, oh, backpacks, backpacks. And then we go on workshops and I have a lot of people that come on the workshops that, you know, have been five, six, seven workshops and they'll come mm -hmm. and they're carrying all kinds of different bags from say mind shift or F stop or whatever. And then they'll come, they'll hang out on a workshop. And then the next workshop I see them show up and they've got a naive. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, that's yeah. we like to see that. But the colors are important for 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 us. Um, and me as a designer, you know, I think camera backpacks, you know, in general, don't don't show don't have a lot of color, not, not right. a lot of choice. Right. And we want to give our customers a choice. And yeah, like you say, with the the new red, the the pine green, the midnight blue, and the graphite black. I mean, they all match nicely next to each other and they look amazing on, on a wall in a store and yeah we think you know the bags deserve something more than just black or gray <laughs> right and so, these bags uh, i mean if you run to japan or you're in europe you're going to see way more photographers using them it's more of a new introduction to the united states and it's it's been really true. fun to be a part of it you know I, I i can't believe that this all sort of occurred because you guys reached out to me with an email hey we like your style. Would you check out our bag? And I just I fell in love. I was like, I had to make a, a call to the brand that I was working with currently. Yeah. Be like, I got to switch because I love what these guys are doing. And you know, to their credit, they were like, yeah. Oh yeah, we know Jensen. He's a great guy. So, but also <laughs> just it's it's yeah. fun to work with you guys. You guys are just very real, laid back, my kind of people. Uh, and you're an awesome, yeah. awesome designer. I think it's so. You just got back from a trade show in Spain. And yes, you had yes, the night Evo good. booth out there and there were like vultures flying over the top and you were able to shoot birds <laughs> in flight and hang out. At, you know, yes, yes, I, yes, uh, yes. I think yeah, someday I'm going to I'm gonna have to come join you at that one. That sounds like a lot of fun. Well, we would love to have you there, really. <laughs> I mean, but it, it, it's we same like you say, look, we we got to know each other. It's a perfect match. And we, you know, we love working with you and, and Woody. And uh, and so, yeah, we would love to to, you know, to have you come to Spain or to Sweden for that matter. Yeah. Or totally. we meet up yeah. in Croatia where Mario is located. So yeah. totally. totally. So well good. and we we've, we've got some plans for Scotland too. I'll have to talk to you more about that. Oh. So, uh, uh, oh. This fall that's we'll be scouting for a that's close. next year in Scotland. So yeah. Sweet well, man. All right. Well, right. you know, Nansen, you're awesome. I'll let you get back to work. Thank I got some stuff to do too, but uh, I just thought it'd be fun to introduce everybody to you. You're, you're the mad scientist yes. behind this amazing, amazing bag. And I'm looking forward to a lot of years working together. I know there's some new fun yeah. stuff coming down the pike. Some people may have noticed even there's there's a little accessory that's going to be coming on my bag right here. Uh, we'll, we'll leave that for, for a future discussion. And I know there's a cool new bag coming that's kind of in between my my two favorite exactly. bags. So. All right. We'll leave that stuff hanging out there. And uh, we'll talk to you more later. Perfect. Great. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Hudson. See you. Bye-bye.